Good morning everyone. So today is a bit of a travel day. We uh, just left up by Rincon de la Vieja, went through Liberia, and now we're up by the Rio Celeste area. So yeah, we just traveled this morning. So as you saw, most of the way is nice and smooth paved road and then just the last little bit to where we are now, which is another unique stay that we're filming called La Carolina Lodge. The road uh, from the main road to the lodge is quite bumpy. So anybody that's coming here, you're gonna wanna have an SUV or have a shuttle driver bring you. Don't rent a car and come up here because it will probably eat the <laughs> underside of the car. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna just go start filming our unique stays video down at our little cabin that we have. All right, so we just finished filming the intro as well as the cabin at this unique stay, which you guys will be able to see that video in September on episode two. Excited to get those out and show you guys these cool places. But yeah, it's uh, the river's right there. And there is actually, I'm not sure where it is, but there is a hot tub that's right beside the river that's heated by a fireplace. Put the uh, logs in there, they light the fire and it'll heat the water up, so it's really cool. But yeah, we have our own fireplace right on the deck. This is uh, Casa Mariposa, or Lodge Mariposa. I don't know what they call it, I think it's Casa, but yeah, it's really, really cool. They got all these walkways. And then uh, you can go down to the river here. Let's go down, why not? We still have to go get our luggage, I'm just waiting <laughs> to go do that. We're, uh, we're a little sore from yesterday from all the walking we did. So yeah, it looks like, oh, this is all oh, wicked. And we're gonna be doing this. They've got some fishing rods here. I think you just fish right off here in the, in the river. But I definitely want to jump in there and cool down. And then yeah, the boys are gonna be excited to do some, some fishing. Lakai loves fishing. But yeah, i um, not gonna show too much in this vlog, a little bit today, and then save most of it for the unique stays. I'm excited about the hot tub too. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go, go up and get all of the luggage now. All right, so just finished filming a bunch of video for the Unique Stays video. And then uh, Shane and the boys have just been hanging out. There's one spot that has Wi-Fi here, so they're over there, because we get emails for uh, work and stuff like that. So she's been dealing with that stuff. And yeah, uh, super sweaty. <laughs> it's actually super hot today, which is nice. That river looks really inviting right now. But um, the boys are actually gonna do a horseback ride right now they've never done it so we asked john and he said that he was going to get uh, alejandro ask him uh, what he thought what he's going to do is just take them around the property a little bit just slowly just to see how they do and then if they seem fine or you know they're not scared or anything like that then maybe they can do a bigger tour tomorrow which i'd love to film some of that but yeah just uh hanging out it's super chill relaxed here this is the place where 
if you want to like shut all your stuff off and just decompress and not look at social media or anything like that this is the place to come because like I said there's only one spot over by reception that has Wi-Fi otherwise there's none there's no cell service for Colby here so there are other cell service but there's no data so um, yeah it's just a good place to chill out you guys having fun yes yeah you like it here yeah yeah it's cool are you gonna film a video yes Dave's gonna do some uh, vlogging as well he's gonna start a, a channel about travel stuff and adventures we do as well so yeah, yeah be cool but yeah just uh, just hanging out looks like some other guests have arrived right now um, dinners at 6 30 so I'm gonna film a video I'll film for this video uh, as well as for the unique stays video it's hard <laughs> filming for two different videos because it's like I have to remember what I have said and what I haven't said for each video and then remember when I go to pull it into post which clip is for which video so yeah it's gonna take a little bit longer editing because of filming two videos a day but that's all right it'll be fun it's cool to get uh, unique stays up and running and show you guys all these cool places off the beaten path that uh, aren't you know, typical hotels and all-inclusives and things like that so yeah I don't know did he come over yet I don't know I look at this I think it's, that's like a little bit of a fixer upper but there's another one over here this is uh, the owner's baby <laughs> I want one of these so bad. We want to actually be cool to get Chris, Southern Chris down here. You guys have seen him in the videos. Get him down here with his family and uh, get a couple of them and then we can start a channel just on uh, land cruising, it'd be fun. So yeah, we're just gonna wait for Alejandro and then the boys are gonna get on the horses. This is the name Rio. Rio. This is the name River. Rio. Rio. It's a good horse for you. Okay, when it's here. I'm a pro at this already. <laughs> I don't know if this is... They like know where to go, it's so cool. All right, so we're going down to where the hot tub by the river is. You can see it. I'll go down here. So it's just made out of rocks and uh, concrete. But, so this fire heats the water and the water comes in from the river. And you got like this, the, it's like actually a fall, like a little fall right there. So it's relaxing sounding. I wonder how hot it is. I'm gonna stick my feet in. It's actually really hot. Warm. Yeah, we're gonna go in here tonight. We got wine for it. <laughs> it's it's warm. It's a hot tub. You're gonna smell like campfire because they all these fire pits everywhere in the fireplaces. Kai was so excited to get on the horse. This is like eyes are like wide. It's cool though. It's it's neat that he likes likes doing that kind of stuff. He's still adventurous and uh, he, he's like a hands-on kid though like he loves doing things like gardening and like thinking outside of the box which is cool Jaden he's uh he still likes doing that stuff but he likes doing it in a digital world kind of thing that's why he likes doing like uh video editing and stuff like that for uh photoshop but yeah it's cool to see them go out there they're pretty excited and uh yeah Jaden's got the GoPro so he's gonna make a little bit of a video so the boys are off gallivanting around <laughs> on horses gonna sit and have a cold cerveza it's been hot running around or walking around up and down the, the trails and stuff like that so you need to have something cold other than water because water gets boring <laughs> uh, Shayna's actually uh, she's over in the little Wi-Fi hut uploading stories to her Instagram if you guys don't follow us on Instagram uh, definitely go over there that's where we post all of our photos from all of our trips and uh, we do stories as well as it's happening. You don't have to wait for the, the YouTube video to come out to see what we're up to. So yeah, go follow us there. And also follow us uh, on our Seacast Instagram and you can see what our rentals are like there. But yeah, cheers. So what do you think of riding horses? That was cool. Yeah, you wanna go on the long hour ride? Of course I do. Do you know how to control the horse? I do, yeah. Yeah, do you wanna want buy a horse now? Yeah. <laughs> how are you, Jake? 
It was good. Yeah? Uh, I was nervous at first, but after I went. Yeah. Now I'm not gonna It's be pretty easy. Alejandro's a good, good teacher? Yeah. What do you think? Is Alejandro a good teacher? Yeah. Yeah? He's not strict. That's no. He's not a strict guy. <laughs> so yeah, the boys did uh, well with the little trip down to the bridge that you cross. Yeah, and um, I was doing this, right? And he was going faster. I put the little... Oh yeah? Like rope. kind of whipping it a little? Yeah. Making him go fast? That's not how it works though. You have to yeah, get the side of it. Well, you can, yeah. Yeah, but that's probably going to hurt him. No, that, if you, you're not going to kick it too hard. I'm wearing winter boots. It's bringing back <laughs> Gum boots. Gum boots. Gum? No, that's what they're called. Oh. Foreign to them because all we wear is sandals. Shayna's here now. She's going to enjoy cold beer as well. Nice. That's yours, I think. We're going for an There's hour. Be well, I figured so since half of it's gone already <laughs> yours. Well, you can trade if you want. <laughs> all right, so now we're getting the, uh, the normal afternoon storm that rolls through in Costa Rica in the green season. But it's so nice here. You got the smell of the wood fire. Uh, they're, they're making dinner right now, so you get the smell of the food. You can hear the river. You can hear the rain. It's such a cool experience here. What do you think? I love it. Listen to that. <laughs> I always love a good storm. Yeah. I was actually, you know what? I was hoping that we would get a really, really, really good downpour yeah. with some good thunder and lightning yeah. later today, be, like once we were done exploring around and everything, and that's what we got. That's what we so. got, yeah. I was just saying how green season, usually like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, we get these storms, so yeah. It's, it's, it's so nice, yeah. though. Yeah, with, like I said, you can't even hear the river right now because it's so hard, but look. Uh, it makes it extra cozy when you're sitting around these fireplaces. All right, so when you're here, they have the table set up. You just come and sit, let them know you're ready. And they're gonna bring bowls of stuff. Whatever the meal consists of, they'll bring them bowls of each uh, menu item. And then you just put it on your plate as you're sitting here. As you can see, they have the rice and beans. And the beans, they actually sat there. I'm gonna put a video overlay of showing you them sorting it, the lady, because they don't want you to have crappy beans. So they have the perfect beans for you. The rice, the uh, plantain chips, and then it looks like a chicken stew. Uh, it's a very traditional Costa Rican item. You got a, a, it's actually a mango salad. So there's, uh, looks like cabbage, some lettuce, tomato, and mango, and then a sauce on that and then I cooked vegetables, which you traditionally get with a cassado. So I'm gonna try them all and let you know how it is. Is that why you ate so quickly? Yeah, so the cooked vegetables are really good. We got corn, potato. I think it's called picadillo. Was picadillo. it pi picadillo? That's what it's called with the vegetables? That's one thing I've never learned, so good thing Shane and Alex. Good. It's funny, the, this food has like a smokiness to it because it's cooked on that uh, stove that's fed with normal wood. Like they get that smokiness from it. So a little salad. Nice and fresh, has a little acidity to it, a little sweetness. I'm gonna try one of these plantain chips. The boys love the plantain chips. They've already eaten a bunch of them. And you can see they're super thin. Very good. I saw her, she put like salt in the oil when she was cooking them, so it actually cooks into it. Rice and beans, make sure they're the number one beans. Yep. Make sure she sorted them properly. They're really good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. You can tell they cook it with a bit of salt too, because they're actually flavored well. And now for the stewed chicken. Super tender. I'm going to use my fingers because it's easier. So as you can see, tender chicken. Mm. So a little bit of sweetness to it, the chicken's tender. Overall, a really good meal. You can tell they put their heart and soul into this as they've been making it all afternoon. When we were around filming and stuff, we saw them come in and start making this. So yeah, definitely um, the meals here are gonna be amazing as they can tell. So when you stay, 
you're not going to be disappointed. I'm going to finish this. It's all farm and, to table. So yeah, like Shana just said, farm to table. And we said before, if it's not grown here, they source it locally from the local farmers. So you know you're going to get really good ingredients. I think most things they grow on the property. Yeah, like I said, it's all locally. You're going to get that farm to table experience when you're eating here. So I'm going to dig in, finish this, and uh, we'll see you later. All right, so I'm on to my last bite of my second plate. They definitely bring you enough food. Like for the four of us, there was tons. It doesn't look like much, but like once you start eating, it's like, oh, like, like even Shana said, like that's a lot of food for poor people. So your money goes a long way here. Everything is included when you when you do your booking. It's one of the best Costa Rican meals I've ever had. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that. It might pick it up on the microphone, but Shana just said oh, it's one of the, the river. <laughs> yeah, in the river in the rain. But she just said it's one of the best Costa Rican meals she's ever had. So very like simple dishes like simple salad um i love mango and salad uh chain of those two we've done a lot of thai salads with mango so super fresh very good but yeah just simple dishes good but quality. when it's when it's made with good quality ingredients like this it goes a long way like and proper seasoning there's salt put in stuff can't say but enough about the meal much, yeah. but yeah not so much it's not overpowering of salt but yeah um I, I can't say anything more about how good this meal has been. The boys like, inhaled theirs and they're like off to the Wi-Fi lab because they want to talk to their friends. But yeah, it's, yeah, you, you guys are, like when you come, you're gonna instantly remember this part of us talking about how the meal is because it's that good. But yeah, gonna have one last bite. And there's mango on it, so. Mango is so good. But, and I finished with the salad because it's so fresh and it cleanses the palate. Yeah. Good morning. So it's another day here at La Carolina Lodge. Stay tuned for that video. You're gonna like that one. So standing here by the river was just filming a little intro for the beginning for the morning of staying here. So yeah, it's uh, it was crazy last night because it rained. This, the river was quite a bit more full, a lot more dirty, but it's cleared up now. The color red. So that was cool. We've never seen a blue jean frog yet, so to see it just in the wild like that, not like in a conservation area or something. So yeah, we're just walking through the field up here to where the cows are. No two cans. So I just found a two can flying up in the trees here. I'm gonna go around, see if I can get it and show you. Can you see him? I'm here. Yeah. Okay. He's way up there. He is. So that was cool, we got to see see it up there. I don't know how well this picked it up. Oh, there's one up there, yeah. He's in there, yeah. Oh yeah, first time seeing them. Her beaks are big. <laughs> there's another one up in the tree here. They're too far up for this lens, I can't zoom in. So he was just saying there's six species of toucan in this area. Which which one is this? The it's, it's named chestnut. Chestnut? Yeah, Okay. rainbow toucan, they're big, they're different colors. Yeah. Yeah, and they and they live here too. The rainbow. Yeah, it's the big, the big, it's the color yellow and coffee. Yeah. Rainbow toucan is coffee, red, uh, green, yellow. It's incredible the colors. Yeah, the colors is yeah, all the different. It's like a rainbow. Wow, that's cool. So glad we got to see one or two. 
Yeah, I won't pick it up on the camera, so I can't even zoom in. But oh, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, you can see it like shining in the sun. Look at that hand. Look at that moving. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Take a long time to get a jug of milk, eh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ready for cereal? <laughs> All right. It's hard on the hands. Nice. Yeah, strong hands. Pebble for bear for horse for everything. No good for chocolate. It's a, it's a problem. It's a monilia. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not good. All right, so that was cool. When you go up to milk the cows, like you saw, you get to have a whole tour of the farm, everything that they have up there, all the fruits and vegetables, the animals. All right, so we just finished dinner. We're actually at, back at our cabin, and we're just changing into our swim gear. You want to call it gear? <laughs> no, it's gear. It's not tools, but changing into our swim stuff, and we're going to head over to the hot tub, so uh, we're going to leave it off here. I'll put a little clip of the hot tub over the subscribe and recommend a video so you guys can see in the background what it's like. So if you guys like the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come out with new videos. And we'll see you in the next one, which will be at Rio Celeste. And it's going to be a good one. Ciao.